Yeah. Back after a long time. Back on it again. Yeah. I was, I was, I was on YouTube. I was watching this you, yeah. And he's talking about how to open your third eye, yeah. And he's giving different ways of you open up your third eye. And some, some, some things I just don't agree with. You know what I mean, like about the different foods that you eat, talk about drugs, yeah drugs can open up your third eye, but do you know what I mean, like only for a certain amount of time, do you know what I mean, like maybe for the duration of how long that drug lasts and then it has a lot of different effects and side effects with it, and it might just open up different parts of your mind you don't want it to open up and you can't close them again, so I wouldn't even suggest that. Open up your third eye is more of just a just a mindset. It's just a it's just, it's just, it happens when you actually want to look beyond this reality. When you when you don't you're not just interested in the five senses and what you can see and hear and touch and feel. You know what I mean? Like it's when you when your mind opens up to more than this reality, that's that's when you most really will the third eye will open, it might not even happen straight away, which is a gradual process because that's how it happened with me anyway. But like, I've said before in other videos that I could see always from time. Do you know what I mean? And then also different experiences that I had like where I knew things are gonna happen before they happen. So I always had that kind of sixth sense anyway from from time, just from being in dangerous situations where my life is on the line or were trying to set me up in all kind of different situations where I know what they're gonna do before they're gonna do it. So then I would, I would maybe be able to avoid it at times, or I'd just know that's gonna happen. Then I just see it play out the exact same way that I thought it was gonna happen. Or even having dreams about something and happen the same day in the same way, and it could never be a coincidence because one time I had a dream about, I had a dream that I got caught by by police. Yeah. They come and raid. They come and raided me. The dream weren't exactly the same as the way it happened. In, the dream weren't exactly the same way as, as as reality. Like the way that um, because what happened in my dream was I got arrested on on the block somewhere. Like I was in some estate, and the police came and they they arrested me. But the the amount of money that went missing in my dream was the exact same amount of money that went went missing in reality. And I had a whole lot more than that money that, that went missing. So it wasn't like that's the amount of money I had like and that went missing. No, I had more than I had like five times more than what, what the exact amount was the amount that, that went missing. Do you know what I mean? And that's 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 just one of just a few incidences and just seeing a lot of different weird things that I used to see around the time, around a certain time of my life, I used to see a lot of just fun, funny stuff that, that make, might not make sense to other people, you know what I mean? Like Stuff that you can't even talk about to other people. Just getting, just getting signs from, from the higher part of me, or whatever you want to call it, higher self, whatever you want to call it. Getting signs and clues and just where I should go and what direction I should take. Do you know what I mean? Like just getting. And I told, I said before that I always used to see orbs and stuff like that. I still see them now from time to time, but it, it usually happens in a time of my life when I kind of need it. You know what I mean? If I'm this cool and I'm close enough to be level-headed, not really going for a lot of stuff like any crisis or anything like that, I don't really see it a lot. Do you know what I mean? And I go in and out of tune that stuff as well. Do you know what I mean? I go in and out of tune. Sometimes I'm way more in tune. Sometimes I'm not in tune at all. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, this is the third eye opening. It's just just has to do with everything is mind man all this stuff has to do with mind do you know what i mean like i don't think you need anything physical for it to happen you don't all stuff that you could use in it and it and it will get a trigger a physical reaction there are plants and they usually they are, they are always plants do you know what i mean the ways of reaching higher planes and seeing different things and different realities but for your third eye to open you just need to just you, You've got to want to look beyond this reality, and when you have that kind of inkling and that kind of thought in the first place, that's usually the 
the way towards it anyway. It's the fact that you're thinking of that because if you're thinking beyond this reality, then you must feel like there must be something beyond it because most people don't even think that. People just say things that it sounds good. Or they post things that it sounds good. They post things about spirituality when then people ain't spiritual at all in no way, shape or form. Do you know what I mean? They're not even trying to be biased or trying to trying to be judgmental or anything, but a lot of people, man, they just it just, being, it just sounds good, it's good to sound good, I mean, it's, the, it's always some kind of thought, it's all about being Christian or being this now, it's but a little while later it's about being Muslim, then then, oh, then it's about being spiritualist and this, that, that, and you know what I mean, it's all just a, a lot of times it's a fad, and people don't really know what's behind any of the stuff, they don't even know what it's all about, they ain't even got a clue, it just sounds good. They talk about chakras, but they never experienced them in their life. It's just like a fantasy, but really, in real, in real life, them things do exist. I've experienced them. I've, I can feel them. If I want to feel my chakras, I can just move my mind from being outwards to inwards. That's all it is. And before you know it, I can feel them. Do you know what I mean? Even when I'm not concentrating on stuff like that at all, I'll have them. I'll feel my chakras from time to time. And then I'm then it makes you kind of aware that something's going on below beneath the surface. Just your chakra's gonna start kicking off for no reason. You don't even know why it's kicking off. But I have my child crocker like active and child crocker the top is right at the top of your head. And it, and it, and it, and it actually physically hurts. When you feel it like activate, it actually bloody hurts. And when you when it first opens, you can feel it's weird, it just it starts to starts to open up pathways in your energy body so when you feel when it first opens the child crocker when it first opens you can feel it trickling down the stand your head like and it's weird you can feel it physically like it's, it's very funny and then you can feel it in different parts of your body like it's clearing your energy body like it's, just, it's like making you connected to your energy making you aware of it do you know what I mean and, and the first chakra that opened for me was my actually was actually my third eye and because I drive for a living as you can see I'm driving along on the motorway and I can feel this 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 I can just feel this weird it's weird it's hard to explain it but you can feel like you can feel the, the pressure and right here you can feel it it's just a pressure you can feel constantly like and 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 the pressure can get even even, even, even especially the pressure even expands to a certain point to the point you can feel it all around the front of your face to my on the bridge of your nose it's like it spreads out it's a weird pressure and when that opened that's when I started having things like if I'm most things that you experience is always in a state in between sleep or if you're really relaxed like meditation state that's when you experience the most things with, with the third eye where, where you're kind of in between states where you will actually see you have your eyes closed so you can see somewhere else you can see another reality another another plane like do you know what I mean another like, astral plane you can you can see it do you know what I mean at first it was it wasn't very clear to me because my my, my third eye wasn't completely open so you could at first I used to see some weird it's weird that I'll see it I'll be laying there and most of most of what I'm seeing is grey but then there'll be a little spot where I can see clearly you can see my carpet in my living room and I'm laying in my bed I can see I'm, it's like I'm floating around in my living room I can see it and it's mo I'm moving around from my living room like my, my sight my third eye is moving around from my living room and then it'll stop and then it'll get clearer and clearer to the point that I would start seeing a different reality like I would just see a different reality you know what I mean, like completely, like a crystal clear picture with my eyes closed and I know I'm laying in my bed and I can see another reality, I'm looking right at the reality to the point that after a while, now I'm looking at that reality and I can see it, now I, I will myself into that reality and now I'm completely there and I'm in, a, I'm in a 3D reality, I'm in a 3D place, like this, that being on earth, that being in a physical plane. So it's exactly the same, but the sensations are different. You understand? You're not in a flesh body, so you don't feel things in the same way. Like if you decide to fly, when you fly, you can feel the wind on your face. You can feel the wind. But the thing about that plane is you don't smell anything. There's no smell. There's no taste. 
you know what I'm saying? That's it. And when you're doing something, you have to concentrate to feel something. So if you want to, if you if you put your hand in something to feel something, you when you concentrate, then you actually feel it. Do you know what I mean? If you if you go to touch something, you feel it because you put your attention on it. But you don't smell anything. If you try to smell something, you might. But it's not the same thing. I think it has to do with the elements. If you've studied this stuff, you'll know that the Ashley play this. I think. I think it's the fire and air element or something, something like that. That's why when you when you're in that plane, you don't really, you don't really, you know what I mean, you don't really come across, come across smell and, and smell and taste. When you go on the when you go on the plane that's that's just below this one, which is an exact copy of this plane. That's when you actually feel like you're in your body without even being in your body. That's, that's, I haven't been in that plane a lot. I think I've been in it three times at, mo at most. That's the most interesting plane for me because I like to see this reality. I like to see this, like just, just like, it's like just flying on top of your roof and looking down off your roof. Like you could actually see something that you could never see in real life unless you went on top of your bloody roof. You know what I'm saying? Like you can see things and go places and, and see your whole, your reality from a different angle whereas in the astral plane you go to a you go to another reality and it has no no correlation to this reality you understand that it has no you can't reference quite nothing because you don't know where the fuck it is like the astral plane is very random so when people see they see this and they're trying to tell you that oh, there's demons and this that and all that nonsense like a lot of times it's just they go to places where their mind is it's kind of at, at the time or something that do you know what I mean you could, could create your whole own reality or you can go to someone else's reality that they've created in their mind it's a random place in in the astral plane it's a random place that don't have that make no sense compared to this reality like I had one experience where I think my first one of my first lucid dreams I had like a proper proper lucid dream didn't that didn't last 10 but of 20 seconds one of my first ones was when I um, I was having a dream and I was in someone's room, yeah, and these little people come run into the room trying to attack me, and it, and and I was like, they hit me, and I could feel pain, and I was and what, and then I said, raw, oh, how the hell am I feeling pain in a dream? That's when I clocked it, raw, oh, I'm in a dream, so I'm like, dope, dope, dope. So then I'm, I must have tried to do some super saiyan thing. Yeah? I know it sounds really lame, but I tried to like power up like about the super saiyan, some stupidness like that. Yeah. Next minute, I've switched realities completely. So I think the whole dream narrative that was around me completely disappeared, and, and I was in a different reality. And when I looked at my hand, it was so crystal clear. It was crisp, and I was like, "Wow, this is crazy." And First thing I did, I, I jumped. I was in some weird. I was in a, like a kind of like a shopping center or something like that. It's really weird. Like we were in a shopping center, and I must have jumped up to the top of like a, it was a bus, a bus roof, like a roof of a bus stop. And then I must have jumped back down again, and I walked into the, into the shopping center. And then these people were just looking at me and looking at them, and I must have walked through the shopping center, and I must have walked up to these security guards, and I said to them, well, "Where is this?" Because I was really like, it was very really funny to me because I, I knew I was laying in my, my physical body, laying in my, my bed, and I'm there. So it was, it was, it was, and that's one of the first times it happened to me. So it was, it was, it was, it was really funny to me. You know what I mean, I, I, I was, re I was really happy about it. You know what I mean? So I asked him, where is, where is this? And he said, oh, this is, this is, this is where do you say it was? Oh, some tea. Where is it again? Stoke. He said it was Stoke. But the thing is, this guy, the way he spoke, he was American, he had an American accent, so I think it's Stoke. Stoke, because when you, for certain time when you have Astro, when you have dreams, experiences in an Astro plane, you want to try to see if you could Google something or see if it's an actual place or see, you know what I mean? Like, at first I thought I might have teleported to another place or I don't know what I would, I just, I didn't know what it really was too tough at the first, when that first happened, so. Stoke, okay, cool. And I, I ended up talking to him, and he said to me, Oh, you shouldn't be if you're not around it, you shouldn't be around it because it's dangerous around there. And I'm thinking, Dangerous, you 
can't hurt me anyway. Like I'm not from here. I mean, that's what I was thinking. I didn't say it. He said, to, I said to him, oh, he said to me, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a party going on down the road. I said, ah, oh, dope. So then I must have walked out of the shopping centre. I'm walking out. Before, before that even happened, a small little thing that happened was because I had a, a kind of a, a violent dream. When I come into that reality, I had a, I had a violent mindset in it because obviously that's how it is. That's, that's how that's how, how it happens as well. With, with, with lucid dreams and all that stuff and as you play. If you have a certain thought, you can get trapped in a narrative. Like your mind will be just on that what you on that thing that actually kind of woke you up the, the dream the, the, the dream that you had when you woke in. That's a lot of times that's a mindset you will have and you will be pulled towards that. So my 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 my, my my mindset, I was thinking to fight in it because obviously I had that violent dream. So I see these two guys who were looking at these black guys. Where I went was this a place of a lot of black people, which is funny as well. But that's obviously because I'm I'm black in it. So you kind of get drawn to where your mindset is, what you are. Like you understand what I'm saying? The people that you gravitate towards, you gravitate towards in that reality. Because a lot of times, even in Asia place, I go to very, very shady looking places that look untidy bad neighborhood funny looking people that look like they're up to something do you know what i mean like, i get drawn to these places because that's where i come from do you know what i'm saying so they're looking at me like they want to rub me and then i'm my mindset is kind of the mindset from years ago that i had years ago so i was wearing what i was wearing when i looked at my clothes i was wearing what i was wearing in 2005 which is quite funny i was wearing a red tracksuit do you know what i mean and i was wearing jewelry so when they're looking at me, I think I didn't want to rub me and I was ready for them. I was like, yeah, come, let's go. Do you know what I mean? But they didn't end up doing anything. But anyway, let's go back to when I, I walked out of the, the, the mall. I walked outside and then the, the dream ended and I was kind of pissed. I was like, oh, like I, want, I wanted to see one. Because you, you're, just in a, you're in a completely different reality. And it's, 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 yeah, it's, just, it's just different, man. So it's, it's it's really it's a very different experience when you're in a different reality and you're there for a while. That's that's the thing as well. When you're even when you're there for a very very long time in the astral plane, you can forget near enough ninety percent of it. You can you can forget all of it even. When you wake up, you can forget all of it completely, all of it. And you was you was you was mentally you was awake, but you can forget it because. You're not, you're not in your physical body to log any of that information. You understand? You're not in your physical body. You're in your astral body, and you can easily forget all of the stuff that you experienced as well. That's that's the next thing. Do you know what I mean? But, but back to the third eye. You just need to just shift your awareness, man. Shift. Even if, even the fact that you look at watching this video and even even listen to what I'm saying means that you're that you're interested in that stuff and you're looking beyond this reality. Do you know what I mean? That's that's the main trigger that will get you to experience different things outside of this reality because unless unless you the kind of person that it happens to you because this is part of your life, that like it's part of your your, your, your makeup in this reality, in this lifetime, you know what I'm saying? You experience the things anyway and you'll think you're mad and you can't really talk to people about it anyway. That's, that will happen to you regardless. But if it's not in, in your very stable mind, not, not saying you're other people not stable, but just you're very grounded in this reality and you never look beyond it, then you, that's the way you would, you would open it up because you because something inside of you is kind of directing you towards this. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man. Third, the third eye is a is a good tool. You see, I see a lot of videos that people talk about. Ah, oh, don't open your third eye. It's dangerous and it's bullshit. Don't even listen to that stupid deceiver, man. It's not that, it's not that deep, man. That stuff is naturally a part of you. That's that's that shit is natural. It's as natural as, as anything because that's that's just that's you, but it's the layer a layer back from your your physical body. So it's all part of you. All the, all the dimensions are part of you, but some dimensions are, will freak you out because you will not understand it. You will not understand it because you're so conditioned to this reality 
it's just all you know, so you wouldn't you wouldn't even understand some of the stuff that you might see or experience, and it might freak you out. Do you know what I mean? Because you're looking from a human mind's perspective. When you open up to it, you, you you experience a lot. Of, I experience a lot of different things, man. Little little weird things. They don't even make any sense to be honest, but this this world don't make any sense. We just try to make sense of things by trying to say this is that and that's it and that's it so we can make sense of it and feel safe and secure with the reality that really doesn't even make any sense we don't even know why we're here what's going on we ain't got a fucking clue mate do you know what I mean so we just grasp grasp we grasp what we know to make ourselves our mind be able to be stable and and function in this reality in this reality that we're in do you know what I mean when there's a lot more going on even people that say they get abducted and all that, they might not even got abducted physically. They might even got abducted like in astrally. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot of stuff that we don't really know that's going on in layers below this reality that we don't even know about. So when someone says that, you can't just dismiss that they're talking rubbish. They can actually experience that same thing they're talking about. Do you know what I mean? So. It is what it is.